course, I was like, yeah, so dating, that's a weird concept for me. The idea of dating, because if, if you break down what dating is, it's essentially a job interview, right? Where you both get drunk and you're interviewing somebody for the role of sitting next to you on the couch, <laughs> looking at their phone, whilst Netflix plays in the background, <laughs> until one of you dies. That's, <laughs> that is pretty much all that dating really is. And, and so I was, I was, I was single for, for a while and I, started, I wanted to start dating again and it's really difficult when you don't leave the house. Uh, it really lowers the amount of people that you can fuck. Uh, and I don't fancy the postman, so he was totally out of it. And, uh, and so I was like, I started internet dating, and that's horrible, because I don't like being the other person's worst case scenario. That's, <laughs> that happens so fucking often with me as well. Because I, I think well, part of the problem, part of the reason I don't like the old uh, internet dating is because there's no proper lesbian dating app. Like, again, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone in this room. <laughs> like, I can tell that a lot of you have been silent going, does she fucking know? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's fucking obvious, but do you reckon she knows? Like, she's already... <laughs> I fucking know. Like, and th in the same way that I know, because there's no one sat at the back at this point going, she's a lesbian! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> God, it's always the last ones you expect, isn't it? Like... Again, I know what I look like. Fat Justin Bieber. I, uh... <sighs> but yeah, there's no good... You know, because like with the dating apps, they've got Grindr for gay men, there's Tinder that everyone seems to use, and, and I think one of the reasons there's never been a good lesbian dating app is because the name Flickr was already taken. They have invented one, though. They, there is one. You can check it out. It's on the App Store. You can see it, and they've given it the worst possible fucking name. And uh, do, do you want to know what the name is for the leading yeah. lesbian dating app? Brenda. <laughs> fucking Brenda. <laughs> Who was in that meeting? Where they're like, fantastic, I've got this lesbian dating app. Right, brilliant. What should we call it? Well, my nan's just died, so... <laughs> Might be respectful. Because these, I love the way that we use these dating apps now because they use the exact same technology as things like Just Eat and Deliveroo, don't they? And so, and so we've started using them in exactly the same way. You know, you'd be sat at home going, oh, fancy eating out tonight. <laughs> Wonder what's in the area. It's fucking great. <laughs> so I... So I, I found myself not really leaving, and I was like, I was ready to start dating again, so I thought, you know what, I've got a spare room, maybe if I get a flatmate, right, I can go and, I can get a lodger, uh, that would be absolutely fantastic, maybe they'll have some friends, maybe we'll be able to meet up, like maybe, you know, some sparks will start to happen, and I asked one of my mates to see if anyone knew of anyone who was looking for somewhere to stay, and my mate Claire went, I've got the, I've got the, bless you, uh, <laughs> my mate Claire went, I've got the perfect person for you, like, brilliant, what's she like? She said, well, she's Swedish, and she's a nurse. Well, she can move in immediately. <laughs> no deposit, I'll cover her first three months' rent. <laughs> Fucking great. And she did, and we've been together for six years now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. In what I assume is a relationship. It's... <laughs> it is. It's one of those things, like, because like, cause she's Swedish. Well, she's not a nurse anymore, but she was when we first met. Uh, but, like, she's... Like when, when people are like, oh, Swedish nurse. I bet that's like a porno. But I'm just like, yeah, it is. It really... <laughs> I thought there might be a language barrier. Turns out I have seen enough porn to get by. <laughs> I shouldn't even be here right now. I should be back at home fixing the washing machine. And she hates it when I call it that. But... 